All right, good afternoon. This is WAG Chicago. It is December 17, 2020. 1217. And uh, I just had to reboot the computer again. Internet's super slow. A lot of weirdness happening around here. Um, this is, uh, I, I rebooted and I changed topic, by the way. So now I'm going to do this. U.S. jobless claims, according to the AP, today is uh, up to 885,000 for the week or whatever. All right. I'm going to show you, again, wizardry in just these graphs and numbers. The unemployment thing is the biggest wizard trick of all because you only get six months. So these people that applied uh, when the first wave happened, they're already off of the system, or they will be as of December. Some of them, I think, got the extensions till December. But for the majority, you get six months. So, and a lot of people I hear didn't get anything because their the systems were so busy they couldn't even get through. If that's true, you know. Uh, <laughs> what my point's going to be here is, no matter what they say in this article. They're going to tell you it's dropped over the seasonal. The seasonal, the reason it's going to drop is because they took out all the seasonal for this year. So that data is not even in there. That's a wizard trick. It'll be in the fine print, but you'll never read that. So it looks like unemployment technically has dropped since the big original shutdown, but it hasn't. That's a trick. So let's take a look at what they're showing you. I don't want to bore you too much. It says the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits rose again. So at least they're telling you the truth there. Last week to 885,000, the highest weekly total since September. It had The reason it dropped in September is you're about six months out from one of the original people. But they don't want to tell you that because that's a wizard. As a resurgence of... I can't say that word. The CV threat... I can't believe I got to talk like this. In this country, well, X country, threatens the economy's uh, recovery from its springtime collapse. Oh, it's still collapsed, folks. They don't want you to see its collapse. See, you walk around your neighborhoods, you don't see any problem. Wait till the unemployment, or not, un wait till these people get kicked out. <laughs> There's no tsunami coming, people. You can ignore it. But eventually, it's going to slap you right in the face or knock you over. It says here, the Labor Department... I'm not even kidding. Like, whatever. The Labor Department said Thursday that the number of applications increased from 862,000 to uh, previous week. It showed that nine months after the V paralyzed the economy. No, it didn't. Your government and the world order and Klaus, they freezed and paralyzed the world economy, including the USSA now, whatever this country is called now. And they did that for something with a 99.7% recovery of. We killed the world economy. And I say we because we're all just sitting at home hiding from nothing. Even if it is something, you're still hiding from your old world it's it's gone like this is crazy these jobs aren't coming back by the way unless you work for walmart amazon and whoever else big they're gonna allow to stay open um that's it if you don't see the tsunami coming you might want to look a little harder and forget politics Forget the left and the right and Humpty Trumpty versus the other retard. None of that matters. This is worldwide. They're getting their marching orders. It don't matter who you elect because that's all BS. And we're not even that country anymore. Look at the laws. There's federal judges ordering states to stand down. And they told those judges to go F themselves. In the old world, if you did that, the judge would have arrested the governor. So all of you that keep saying you got to sue and you got to sue and you got to sue, the courts are over. We're under a new law. 
You guys just don't see it yet. I, a lot of you guys do. I'm doing this video for people that are new to the channel, maybe don't know. So don't get offended if you're a regular listener. I'm not saying this to you. I apologize. I should have said that up front. Anyways, let me show you this little graphy graph. Because this is how they're lying to you. Grab a pen. Now, let me tell you something. Right here, even if my computer will work. Right here, 5 million is called a recession. All right? If I could draw this. So that's the 5 million mark across to here. So if I drew a line across, right about there. What happens if you're above a recession or below? However you look at this. What's next? A depression, right? But we were all taught in school how horrific that is, so they won't say it. These guys aren't telling you you're in a depression greater than anyone in world history. It just hasn't had the water dump on you yet. There's a shock wave coming that is inevitable at this point because they already hit the, they put a chalk in the wheel. So that's already on the way. So my point is they're trying to tell you here, let me change the color of this thing. All right, I can't even get into it. The, here it is, here it is. Here it is. All right. It's color to change. There we go. So, because it's blue ink already. So, they're trying to tell you that unemployment just suddenly dropped. Because they're showing you seasonally adjusted. They're taking out all the part-time jobs and everybody that used to get for Christmas time. That's how they're tricking you. And then they tell you in here, hang on. They try to tell you that the number is dropping. But luckily in here they do mention what I'm trying to tell you right here. The total number of people are receiving traditional state unemployment benefits fell. It's <laughs> It doesn't fall though. 5.5 million from 5.8 million. That figure is down sharply from its peak of 23 million. That's important. This is important. That's your probably the closest to your real figure as of May. So, how many people have rushed and got all these new jobs since May? Because most of the country's been on lockdown. A semi lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Restaurants running at a 10%, all that BS. They're not open. If you can't run 100%, you can't make profit. So, 23 million in May. What they're telling you in this article is it's going up about a million per week. June, July, August, September, October, November. Let's say six more months. That's six more million. At the minimum, you got 29 million. But they're telling you it's down to 5 million. They're lying. This is BS. That's impossible. Where did all those people... You're telling me 20 million people went back to work? Because if that's the case, there wouldn't be any evictions coming. You get it? This is a lie. These are wizards. I try to tell you, this is how they write their news articles. And then we go, oh, there's only 5 million. Because you, you just scan through it. Oh, 5 million. It went from 23 million when the lockdown first started. But suddenly, now, lockdown number two, we've got 20 million people back to work. There is a shockwave on the way, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Don't get mad at me. It's coming. Zwag Chicago. I'll be back. I'm trying to do something else, and they keep blocking me, so I just rebooted the computer. We'll try it again. Let's hope this goes up. This is Wag Chicago on 12-17-20. You guys have a great night.